Isn't that crazy? They couldn't hear me the whole time I recorded my videos and me talking. YouTube's not on my on mute. It's my damn mic, bro. My mic just stopped working. Uh, appreciate you guys. Well, the Giants just paid Burns 150 million for five years. Who's Burns? Carolina. Who's Burns? I've never heard of the Burn. Uh, who's Who's Burns? I've never heard of that name. Burns, defensive end. Brian Vi Brian Burns. I don't know who the hell that is. Who's Brian Burns? I've never heard of Brian Burns. Never heard of Brian Burns in my life. Is he an NFL football player? Mm -hmm. Where'd he go to college? <laughs> I bought three of the same jackets for free. Where'd he go to college? <laughs> Somebody do some research on him so I don't have to. <laughs> yes. I'll be right back. How funny that. <laughs> we need to be getting trolled. We need to be getting trolled, huh? What was your dinner, babe? Cereal? Yeah. Girl, get the movie out here eating like a fucking elementary school first grader. <laughs> Can I get some burnt tips? Yeah. Burnt ends? Yeah. You want me to make some rice or something? Because we don't have any size. Oh, yeah, I need rice. Okay. I need rice with it. Alright, I'm gonna finish my. No, no, no! You go put the rights in and then finish the game. <laughs> no, I'm almost that shit's done. That shit's bro. I'm almost done with this. Oh my goodness. Y'all ever had a girl tell you she's not feeding you? She's gonna do some. I'll be right back, y'all. It's commercial break. Don't worry about it. This girl not making dinner. She's playing a game on her phone. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. That's wild. <laughs> man, you don't. Say, you never, ever. You cease to amaze me, man. <laughs> Them cheer beaters. They're not cheerleaders, they're cheer beaters. Whoa, there's no place for this. Huh? You'll do it? Oh, now you want to do everything? Can you drink that bullshit drink back there? Oh, that V8? The, the floor's wet. Ice Cube just sat there? Yeah, I heard it when we were watching our show. You forgot it? So you heard it hit? Yeah, you were watching. Who, who made it hit the floor? You. No, not a chance. Not a chance, bro. You're you, your dog. What is that? He can add some water to it. Just add some water. Add, add an ice cube. You know, you melt all over the damn floor. Alright, who are we interviewing here? I don't even know who we're interviewing. 2019 WNBA. Hey y'all, it's basketball now. It's basketball night every night. Burns didn't graduate. All right, here we go. We're at the free throw line. Excuse me, y'all. I don't mean to be rude, but shout out to YouTube. Uh, made me have to go YouTube live on their ass, and you guys can only watch the game cast. I hope you're watching the game on your own TV. Uh, give me a second. Charleston Cougars. I am working on my other monitor, just so you guys know. I'm always working. We got a three-point lead right now. We're halfway there. No, Tarkin, you're not you're not that guy. You're not built like that. You sound Burnham, go up and get that. Burnham, go get that rebound. Look at that. Can't even dribble, y'all. Can't even dribble these dudes. But they can shoot like a mother flipper. They can shoot like a mother flipper. Brosnovic, number 10. That dude's from Croatia, bro. Number 10 for Charleston, Croatia. Right there, under the basket. That's a European. He knows what he's doing. No. Damn. You got you to gotta do that. How about the edge rusher we got? Don't know, don't ask. 
Don't ask. It's fair. He only played three years. <laughs> Stop it, dude. I know. I be I be trolling you, dudes. I be trolling you, dudes. Don't do this. Charles Thompson, forward number thirty-two. Come on, y'all. You guys are talking to me about a guy. Sorry, I'm watching the game. I'm trolling you guys. I say, oh, I don't know who Brian Burns is. That dude's a first round draft pick, sixth overall. And I'm just like, who? What a rebound, man. Well, that's a damn shame. Shout out to Towson. Tony the Tiger Thompson, professional boxer. I don't know that dude. He's a boxer for 16 years. I don't know. Tony the Tiger is a serial dude. And I ain't talking about murder. Let's go. There it is. Look at that. European. European fundamentals. You can't get it done, bro. Still that ball. Stop the ball. Hands up. Hands up. Don't jump. Air ball. Where's the defense? We're down three, y'all. Packers release Aaron Jones. We're falling apart. We need more fouls. Yeah. They signed Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs ain't shit, bro. You're talking about um Brian Burns, though. His freshman year, eight and a half sacks right off rip. You knew he was good. And then his senior year was, or his junior year was 10. So... Anyway, we can fix the fact that many U.S. born players have no fundamentals now. No, you're going to have to change the youth basketball structure if you want to do that. You got to change the youth basketball structure. AAU, they don't care about no fundamentals. It's all about, it's an all-star game. Every time you play, you got to show out to get all eyes on you. So nobody's passing. Nobody gives a shit. They're out there just trying to score as many as they can. They're trying to get everything they can. Here we go. You sub in your guys. Let's see what happens. We should pull away right now. Let's go, Charleston. You got four minutes. Get it done. Foul. Let's go. Let's get some more free throws. We're down by three. What about Barkley? Saquon? You want to know about Saquon Barkley? Oh, I'm supposed to be looking at YouTube chat. My bad. I don't have it up. If you guys are talking to me in YouTube chat, what up, what up, what up, Solar Power? There we go. I can hear now. Hey, Burns is a beast. Yeah, yeah, he was with the Panthers. Still early in the game, but it doesn't currently look good. It doesn't know a Markley. Um... Missing a lot of second hand, second chance baskets. Missing offensive rebounds. They look like they haven't been fed by their significant other. Because I feel the same way, bro. Babe, you look beautiful in the kitchen right now. Thank you. It, I love your hair. You've been doing your hair nice the last two days in a row now. Thank you. Who are you trying to impress? Just you. Just me? Yeah. Where'd you get that sweater? One of the boys. You know, TJ's the I know it's new. It's not new. I know it's new. Like I said, it's storage. Is it new to you? Yeah. It's new to me. It's new to me. Okay, because it looks nice. Thank you. That shit looks fire. She says, who do you have winning this conference? Charleston winning the conference, Sean. If they can get past this game, I think they beat Hofstra in the final. Hofstra should win tonight. So I have Charleston winning this conference. Uh, if, if they can get this game done. I think they can beat Towson. They're deeper. They're just better, more fundamental. Yes, Thompson's going off right now. He's got 11 points, 5 for 8 shooting from the floor. But you just, you just got to trust me, man. I'm Rico Knows. If we don't cover this spread, I'd be shocked. Um, we need Kobe Rogers to start taking over. Burnham can't be going 0, 0 for 4. We just can't be doing this shit. Hoping for the best.
Hope we go on a run here and just no sweat this thing in the second half. Ask her why do girls wear high heels? Because to put the dishes on the top shelf. Oh, there we go. It don't matter. She told me she wanted a new dishwasher. I, I went and got another girlfriend. First four out. A&M, Utah, Pitt, and Iowa. You don't even know, bro. You got to play in these tournaments. Shout out to the YouTube cats. Hey, if you guys go ahead and like the stream, I'd appreciate it. Just throw up a like, give it a thumbs up. You can leave it, come back in. Not, not a lot of people will be watching me watch basketball. Let's be real. Hope, glad my, my YouTube channel is back up and rolling. Thank you so much, LeBron Factory. It definitely is back up and rolling. It's uh, doing pretty good. Come on, Frank. Every basket counts, bro. We need to win this. Hands up. Just They're just careless with the rock, y'all. They're just careless with the rock. They had a timeout for this one. What a great play. Got that rebound. Let's go. I like the way Towns is doing their thing, but uh, give me Charleston. There it is. That was the matchup we wanted. When they did that switch, you had a seven-footer on a six-foot-three guard. There it is. Woo! Oh, I thought that was an air ball. Look at that offensive rebound, though. Hit it! In the paint. Ooh, travel. Oh, can we get a foul? She, <laughs> she definitely licks them clean. I need a second uh, laundry woman. We go with the sharp EO jokes. Uh, I don't I don't know. Did I say one? Oh, my girl doing the extra dishwasher? Come on, bro. That's clutch. Another miss three. No field goal made in eight minutes. We're only down by two points. Can we do something? Eight minutes? That ain't gonna last. That ain't gonna last, baby. Let's go. Just hit a three. We're done. We're done. Eight minutes not scoring? That's never gonna happen again. Eight minutes not scoring, that's crazy. That is a long ass drought. Only reason Towson's still in the game. Eight minutes not scoring. Oh my goodness, what an ugly shot, bro. That dude looked like he's at the YMCA and he's got next. Come on. Give me the top of the key. The arc, swing it, oh go. Oh my goodness, you had this. It's not a foul, bro. That's ridiculous, bro. Splash. There's your boy Williamson. I told you, they can't handle Williamson. I talked about that. Oh, you guys didn't hear the video. You guys didn't hear the video because it was on mute. Because the last one you had got a dream, uh, had a dream, got shot. The last one that had a dream got shot. Oh, I don't know what that means. A ton of people have been shot. <laughs> and they didn't have any dreams. No, no way. Good. That was, a, that was a hard shot. That man is still down. Go, we got numbers. Look at this man. Get up, you fragile baby. He got rocked. I ain't worried about no ML. Charleston choking. Aaron Jones to the Ravers. If not, then Derek Henry. Bro, why do they need... The Ravens got Keaton Mitchell. They don't need nobody else. The Ravens got Keaton Mitchell. Stop talking ball to me. YouTube out here talking crazy. Keaton Mitchell is him.
Oh, I can see that nobody talking here is an MVP on YouTube. I appreciate all you guys. If you were MVP on YouTube, your name would be in green right now. You'd have a badge next to your name. Just wanted to point that out to all the YouTubers watching. Uh, they're commenting. These YouTubers ain't got no, ain't, ain't got nobody got a green name. I know Solar Power is a uh, an MVP for the whole year on Patreon, but he ain't a YouTuber. Let's go. Easy word. Oh, wow. What a play. No, 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 no. Why? Why did you touch it, bro? Butler, get off the court. Don't run any more plays for Butler to the rim, bro. Ugh. Kevin says he's an MVP. I'm talking to the YouTube guys, man. We're on YouTube Live. Hands up. Oh my goodness. They're getting murdered. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. These boys came out inspired. Of all the teams to pick, three. <laughs> Come on, Charleston. Just keep giving it to this man. Come on. Smith can hit them all day, y'all. I didn't show it over here. Smith's at nine, three threes. He's three for seven. Just keep letting that man shoot. Hand up. There it is. There we go. Ooh, there's a mismatch in the paint. There we go. Five seconds. What you want to do, baby? What you want to do? We got the lead of the half. Ah. Ah. Got the lead of the half. I'm on top of the world. What's good? What's good? Hey, what's up, Jalen? Good to see you, man. I could be making videos right now, but I just want to kick it with you guys. Gardner Minshew to the Raiders. Gardner Minshew to the Raiders. Raiders got themselves a quarterback. Raiders got themselves a quarterback. I'm just saying. Towson's got 12 bench points. We cannot have that. Hope they don't get them, them bench points anymore. That's a little absurd, because if they didn't have those 12, they'd be way behind. That's all I'm saying. Look at the field goal percentages. We need to fix that. We're shooting from three beautifully. That's okay. It's already the half, bro. That was the fastest first half you ever saw. That shit was clean. Let's go. Second half is going to be foul. 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 Waiting for dinner. Um... How long is it going to be, Mrs.? Like 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Did it just start? Like five minutes ago. Is it in the rice cooker? Mm -hmm. When it's closed, it gives you a timer. No, not until it's like the last 10 minutes. Yeah, I, get, I said when it's close, it gives you a timer. Oh, yeah. And then you argued with me and said no. <laughs> yeah, I thought you said when it's closed. No, when it's close, it gives you a timer. Yes. My girl's making me... Uh, Hispanic rice. Is that what it's called, babe? Mexican. Mexico. Why you gotta just call it Mexican? It's Puerto Rican. Okay. So it's not Mexican. It's Latin rice. Okay. Let me get the Latin rice. It's from Hispania. She's trying to say it's Mexican rice, bro. What has it got? A mustache? Because it, does it wear a sombrero? Does it take a siesta at the fiesta? Come on, bro. Does it walk around saying Yo Quiero Taco Bell? Yes. Is it a, is it a Chihuahua? No. Imagine the first time I went to Mexico and they were like, Oh, I said, Where are you from? They said, Oh, I'm from Chihuahua. And I was like, Like the dog? Motherfucker didn't know what I was. Hey, he was pissed. It's a state in Mexico. Yeah, there's a state. Like, you know how we have states here in America, right? Mexico has territories and states. Their states, one of their states is Chihuahua. I didn't know all the license plates just kept saying Chihuahua on them. And I'm like, what is this shit, bro? It's like naming your dog. It's like, oh, where are you from? Well, I'm from, you know, I'm from Poodle. 
It's not Rottweiler, it's Poodle. I'm, I'm from Poodle. You see Cliff Bars, babe? Cliff Bars, you see that commercial? Do you like Cliff Bars? You do, I saw you light up when I mentioned them. What do you like about Cliff Bars? They're just tasty? Yeah. What flavor is your favorite Cliff Bar flavor? macadamia nut one so there's a peanut butter one and um when i got to iraq they had this huge wooden boat in the defect it was a big a man-made wooden boat it was a i guess all boats are man-made but this was a, a wooden boat right like a pirate ship looking thing and all they had in the boat was piles and piles and piles of gatorade orange Gatorade and orange wrappered Cliff Bars. They're peanut butter Cliff Bars. You get as many as you want. It's free. So as soon as I, I walk into the defect now, the problem is you can't, you can bring no bags into the defect. You can bring no bags into the dining facility because bags can have bombs and shit, right? So we always walk in there without any gear, without any bags, just your weapon on you and you're washing your hands in this, in this hand washing station. It was like these doors we went through and then you go to this next area and there it is. And as many as you want to put in your pocket. So it's my first day in Iraq. I haven't had anything to eat in probably 24 hours because of the time I flew in. I flew in on a plane in the middle of the night uh, with all my gear and stuff, with all my top secret equipment. And so I didn't show up. My unit showed up in Kuwait and convoyed up, like drove the vehicles up from Kuwait to Iraq. I flew in from Germany in the middle of the night. So two different experiences, right? I didn't take the convoy. So I, I'm a fancy dude. So I fly in and when I land, there's nowhere to eat. It's the middle of the night. And my, my boss just says, oh, just those are your tents over there. It was like this tent city, it's transition area. You just go grab a tent, you'll be cool. So you're just going through the tents, finding your open tent where you're gonna live. So I go to the tent and it's cold, it's freezing cold. I think it was uh, December. And it's legitimately 20 degrees or so, 30 degrees. So I'm cold, I'm hungry, I'm kind of scared, I'm, I'm just startled, I don't know where I'm at, or, cause it's not daytime, so I can't really get my bearings, kind of like last night when we were in the woods. Yeah. So I'm kind of like, man, this whole place looks kind of weird to me. So at some point that night, I got really thirsty, and I went outside the tent, and I found a, a pallet of water, bottled water, a whole pallet next to the tents. But this pallet, this water was supposed to go to the dining facility. But the dining facility is like a half a mile away. That defect doesn't open until 6 a.m. for breakfast. It's midnight, I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, and it's probably been 24 hours since I had anything to eat or drink. Seriously, I've been in transit the whole time. So I, I can't take it no more. I pull out a knife, cut into the pallet. It was wrapped in plastic. I cut into it and fucking just cut into those bottles and just took two bottles of water and just drank them instantly right there. Just standing there, just drank them. It was kind of barbaric. It was kind of like in another world. And I can remember the next morning, uh, there was this guy. He was like, I can't believe somebody cut into this. No, we can't. Because they couldn't carry it all because I unwrapped all of the water. It was, a, it was wrapped. You imagine it's like in wrapping that, that like saran wrap. And I cut through all of it and fucked up the whole pallet. <laughs> they, they couldn't put it on a forklift and move it because it would all fallen off. Right. I, I didn't care. I needed water. And I could hear this dude going, I can't believe somebody. And he's yelling it loud enough. So everybody, uh, there's like, the tents go on for many, many blocks, I will say. So there's no way they know who did it. There's nobody nearby, nothing, right? But I'm about five tents away. I can hear it. But it goes on. These Think of city blocks of tents. You're just walking forever through all these tents. And uh, I was like, I don't know nobody around here. I don't give a shit. And I was probably an E5, I think. I was a sergeant. So I wasn't, like, super in charge. I was just a guy. And I didn't give a fuck, bro. I'm cool. But anyways, you get up to the defect. You walk in. You see all these cliff bars and this Gatorade. And it's free. I immediately start packing everything in my pockets. Like, an insane amount in my pocket. Insane amount in all of my gear, right? And there's people who've been deployed all year, looking at me, going, what the fuck is he doing? Like, why is he acting like this is a finite resource? Why is he acting like he's not gonna get any more? Nobody was grabbing any. It was just there. They might grab one and, and, and just keep walking and not even care. So after about two or three weeks of going back to this dining facility to eat, everything, 
Uh, yeah, you don't grab any of those Gatorades or those <laughs> those clip bars. They're like they're random. Every now and then, you're gonna get full in this damn defect right now, and you're gonna leave. You're gonna eat lobster. You're gonna eat lobster, crab meat, and fucking steak. They got every food is out of this world. Like they know food is such a morale lifter, so they give you so much food, and it's really good food. So KBR was the contractors in charge of the food. We had these guys from India cooking all the food. I remember I'd go in there and it'd be like Mongolian stir fry night. And you just pick all everything you want for the stir fry and they fucking make it right there and you're just, you're living a whole nother life. And the worst meal you're gonna have, the worst meal you're gonna have is a double cheeseburger with fries. Like the worst meal you're gonna have is short order if you're impatient and don't want what they're making. But they're making the bee's knees every day. What the fuck am I grabbing these cliff bars for in these damn gatorade? So long story short, Late at night, when you need to snack, there's midnight chow. I would send my, I was a platoon sergeant by then. I would send my drivers, my guys, to drive over there and go get a plate of food for midnight. They would come back with all these to-go trays for everybody in the shop. They would come back with 20 of them. And you could make all the meals you wanted in midnight chow. It was fucking great. Um, we're always having a good time. And they would bring back a variety of things. But they would always bring back a handful of Cliff Bars and some Gatorades. By the end of the deployment, I will never eat a Cliff Bar again in my life, ever. And I will never drink a Rip It. Do you know what a Rip It is? It, it's an energy drink. Uh, so they give us free Rip It's and free Cliff Bars all year long. I didn't drink Gatorade for two years because it triggers a memory in your mind of that time frame and that location and that experience. Dare I say PTSD, but more importantly, it's just, it's the chemical relationship that taste, I associate it with something very stressful trauma in my life, right? So, like for me, I remember us being, like we were getting hit one night and we all had to run to a bunker and it was bad. So we're all in a bunker, shots are going everywhere and we just bogged down and I'm on the radio and I'm like, hey, can we get the all clear to go back to where we were sleeping? And first, like, <clears throat> first I was like, nope, stay in the bunker, we still don't have the all clear. So we're just in this bunker and it's about 13 of us, and it's a very stressful night of no, no laptop, no music, no, not, like, no, not, no entertainment, nothing to escape you. You're just sitting in there, and you're practicing noise and light discipline, so you're not actually talking. You're just sitting there next to whoever, and you're just all just kind of just there. And nobody really wants to talk. You're just mad. You're mad because you don't have the authorization to shoot back at anything. You don't know where the fire is coming from. I mean, you see tracer rounds every now and then. You hear artillery, you, but you are not involved in it. You're just sitting there waiting. And you're like in a hurry up and wait mode. And as a sergeant, staff sergeant, by then I was a staff sergeant, like you're, you're just mad. It's the only way I can describe it. And yeah, it's traumatizing. It's annoying. So for a long time, cliff bars. I saw them at the store. They triggered me, bro. Like I don't like cliff bars. So I saw that commercial. Just thought about that right now. True story. Never get me a cliff bar. I don't give a fuck if it's macadamia nuts. Anyways, let's get back to the chat. Uh, let's go to Townsend. Let's go Townsend. Let's go Baltimore rep. Rico with the sharp jokes. Yes, yes, yes. What's good? What's up, Rico? Now that Cousins signed with Atlanta, where do you think Fields will land? I think Fields will land on his feet. I think Fields can stay in Chicago. I think um, I don't I don't try to predict that kind of stuff Eckler to Washington what a terrible move I don't think you, anyone should pay Eckler I would never pay Eckler personally I don't think he's worth that kind of money if I'm being real uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't be all over Eckler like that we're at halftime right now with this game it says Raiders signing defensive tackle Christian Wilkins to $110 million. Can you imagine? Babe, I get 100 bucks, I'm happy. You get $110 million? I just need $1 million, right? You think I'm going to make it? I think I'm going to make a $1 million, yo. I'm going to make it a $1 million in one annual year. It's going to be real. I can't wait for it. I can't wait to make a $1 million. You're all going to be part of it. Yeah, no shit. 
Do you think they're going to beat North Carolina to get in the tournament? I think if they win one game, they're in. <clears throat> he said they must win the tournament. Look at Hofstra. Stony Brook can play with them. I don't believe the hype. What's up? What's up? All four of you. One of you is my girl. <laughs> What's up? Three of you. Man, babe, I'm starving. Man, it's, I'm starving, babe. Part of me just wants to stop this live stream and just start eating my fingernails. So funny. I'm funny? Like funny how? Like funny how? Funny who? Funny what? End of the first half. We are only up by one. We need to get it together, y'all. Come on. Burnham is zero. 0 for 4. My boy Rogers, 0 for 2. Got to do something with it. Smith is hitting all the threes. Smith only got his shoulder ready to play. I don't know what we're doing. And we can't stop Thompson, bro? Thompson, the boxer's kid? This is crazy. I'm an MVP. Patty Hoops. I quit. I quit. I might just give up basketball predictions if I got this wrong. You don't believe that, right, babe? No. Never that. Never that. No. Okay. Just remember. Townsend lost seven conference games. They're going to lose another one. There ain't no way. But are they going to lose by six and a half? We need them to get blown out. We can't be going eight minutes without scoring. They go eight minutes without scoring and they're still up by what point? That's impressive, y'all. That's impressive. I appreciate nobody hitting like on my live stream. That really means a lot to me. Shout out to everybody who's never hit like on my live stream. Um, I gotta check the, the when I look past the screen, I'm I'm look, actually looking at my TV that's beyond me. These really big monitors, so I have to sit up really high on my chair to look past my screen. It's nuts. Um, I got a weird setup. I really want my TV three feet higher, babe. What do you think? If I mounted it. I need to actually find the studs, and make sure I put it in the wall. There it is. Good counsel, straight out of Maryland. I told you guys, that kid off the bench is real. Dylan Williamson, I just talked about him right before. Oh, man, they couldn't hear the audio on him. So I said, Dylan Williamson, freshman off the bench, is the one guy they can't handle. I believe in him, and they don't let him start. But Rain Smith is him. Go, Rain! Let it make it rain! Make it rain! That's crazy. Come on, Rain. We just got to make sure these guys don't do it again. Can't go scoreless like that. Can't give them points off turnovers. And how are my tips? Did you warm them up yet? Seven minutes on the rice? So you're gonna just microwave the tips for seven minutes? Why not? Oh, I thought you wanted to burn them. Aren't they called burnt tips? Burnt ends, so you don't burn them? That's money, man. Coach is having an affair with the girl right there. Okay, let's go. I watch too much uh, House of Cards, y'all. Too much House of Cards. <laughs> I'm sitting around just accusing people of having unhealthy relationships all over the place. We've been watching House of Cards. It's something else. That shit kind of just sticks with me, babe. Yeah, that lady walked into that dude's uh, hospital bed. Just started giving him a handy. <laughs> That's crazy. Right? Must have been his dream come true before he died. What if he pulls through and he lives? Oh, I don't know what that means.
Here we go. Damn. That's wild. Hit it in rhythm, bro. Help him. Let's go, rain. Make it rain. Good crossover. Bro. Garbage. Garbage. The European lowering his shoulder. Why is he staring at the ceiling, bro? Exactly. That's what I'm saying, Verify Jackie. They're going to keep Justin Fields and trade that pick. Nah, that's a terrible shot. That's a low, low percentage shot. Let's go. Stop messing up. Easy. We'll take the foul. We'll take the foul. Shout out to Christian May with the foul. From behind. Yeah, you can't hit his hand, bro. He got all ball initially. But the follow through. Uh, how you guys feel about the Bears, man? Ooh. This man ain't missing. Babe, you look so beautiful, man. What'd you do to get all pretty like that? I'm over here dressed like a bum. You dress like some. You dress like the sum of five plus five. You look like a dime. I look like a dime minus nine. I'm always hot. Turn the heat up. Oh, he stopped his dribble. Top of the key. Come on. Uh, hands up. Easy. What was that shit? Get the rebound. That was a wild shot. That dude's on the take, bro. Pass it. Easy. I did. I did. I did some. I, I did something that you'd never believe. I pulled out 20 toys, and then every five burpees, I put one toy back. That way, I know if I did 100. Does that make sense? Well, you see how many are left out. <laughs> I'm funny, babe. I'm funny. I have two people watching me right now. I have six people on YouTube watching me. I appreciate you guys for being here. We're probably going to sign out. I'm going to keep watching this game, but I'm probably going to sign out of TikTok. I got to answer some questions. I got. I should have been making content all day. I did make content all day. Oh, no. Oh, no. Beautiful. Wasted possessions for Townsend. Air ball on the three. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, my name is Rico. I will be here all day watching these scrubs, air ball, everything. Make the, every possession count, Townsend. Ooh, perfect. Bro, why are you such a... That's a bank. Good rebound? No. We want it more. We want it more. Townsend looking tired. Looking mad. Ooh, off his foot. He knows it. Under the basket, 13. Oh, and why is he coming out, bro? You're that big. Stay under the basket, bro. It's my boy. That's my boy, Kobe Rogers off the bench. That's my boy. I told you he's a starter now. I said, man, they, they're starting char they're starting Rogers. Look at that. 11 and 2 run. Ugh.
Come on, baby. That's all we need. Hands up. No jumping. Just hands up. Oh, no. No way. No way. Over the back. Over the back. Over the back. Over the back. We got this. Kobe Rogers. That's the guy you want. I believe in Kobe, man. He's just so much more athletic than what they used to have on the court. Give me Kobe all day. Kobe's 6'3". Oh, we're not going to commercial till under 16 minutes. What is that? Brian Burns. Second and a fifth round pick, bro. Second and a fifth round pick for Brian Burns. That's quite that's quite the uh the get. And they're gonna give him five years, 150 million. Holy smokes. Five years, hundred and fifty million dollars. He's very good. He's been getting over seven and a half sacks every single year in his career. Literally. He's he's good. Brian Burns is one of them dudes. I bet you guys didn't know he had a brother got drafted. Brian Burns got a brother drafted back in 2006. Different name. Stanley McClover. That's his brother, Stanley McClover. Drafted by the Panthers in the seventh round. The Panthers be dra drafting these dudes. True story. Here comes my food, though. Hey! Don't get too excited, y'all. I got my food. This is, gets me so happy. Babe, this is a meal. This is heaven right here. It's dripping off the plate. Y'all see this? Y'all see this? Woo. Burnt ends, dude. Straight restaurant status. Restaurant burnt ends. Covered in barbecue sauce uh, uh, with, I think she got brown sugar in it or something. Huh. Tastes like candy, bro. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know what else to tell y'all. Can be thrown down, bro. That's what happens when the white folk give us all the free food. Oh, it's hot. Bears got DeAndre Swift. What up, Lewis? My boy Hinton up in the house. Roll tide roll. We just need this this possession right here to count. Got it, baby. Don't don't check it. He's gonna say it wasn't good. They're checking this. They're, they're making sure he let it go too early enough. Wow. That's not gonna count. It's not going to count. That was too late. Bro, Danny DeVito's still a real person? I thought Danny DeVito did not exist anymore. How old is Danny DeVito now? What? He's got me way older. I know he 
is a filmmaker. Danny DeVito is 79. How tall is he? No idea. That's too small, babe. <laughs> Five two. He's four ten. <laughs> <laughs> He's four ten. You know he was married. Who the hell's that? The girl from Cheers. Really? She passed away. Oh really? Oh, the ugly girl from Cheers. She didn't pass away. She just got divorced. Oh, really? Married from 82 to 2017. <laughs> now you said I'm out of here. Imagine getting divorced at 79. 82 to 2017? They knew each other since 71. That's a long time. They got married on my dad's birthday back in 82. They got married, my dad was 20. They separated in 2012. Then they reconciled, and they did it again. Oh. She said they're not, uh, they're still married. They just have no desire to get divorced. They just don't live it together. All right, we're up by five. <clears throat> Just need to stop these dudes. Their poor decision making. No. Damn. Wow. We'll take it. She was in chairs for nine years. That's not. She was on an episode of Blossom. Thank you for this food, babe. Another foul. Stop letting him have the ball, bro. Stop letting. Is it Smith? What's his name? Butler? Butler. Second turnover in a row.
There we go. What a wait. Oh, no. Rebound. What's the foul for, bro? We need Rodgers. No. The whole reason I'm watching this game is because of Rodgers. Oh, what a terrible pass. What a beast. Oh my goodness. This is over. It's over. Another foul. Are you trying to bail him out? They're trying to bail him out. Revo, I left a comment on your video titled Big 12 Men's Basketball Tournament. Okay, DJ Mark Cornelius. I see all comments. I might see them at different times from the rest of you guys, but I'll see it. Kick it out. Gosh, dang it, bro. What is wrong with Charleston? Yeah, I'm so glad. <clears throat> the video didn't post. Apparently I'm wrong. Well, I've been crazy. <laughs> Easy. Charleston, call time out, bro. Where's the foul, bro? Let me try to look for it. DJ Mark Dom. See what you said. Are you talking about on a uh, on TikTok or YouTube? Rock Chalk Jayhawk. Oh, you're talking about on YouTube. Or you talking about on on uh, Patreon? Mark Cornelius, you talking about Patreon? YouTube, it didn't show up. I just checked. Big 12 men's basketball tournament prediction. There's only one comment. It's right here. It says one comment. Rock Chalk Jayhawk. I don't see any other comment for that video. Could be uh, held for review. Nope, nothing's held for review. Checking everywhere. Let's see. 
There it is. Guess he's okay. My God. He needs to score more. We got 11 minutes. We need to pull away. I mean, you can write the comment in here. <clears throat> No. Oh my God. Dylan Williams. It's a damn shame the video didn't post when I predicted this kid was going to do it all. First thing I said, Dylan Williamson is great. The microphone was popped out. It says, okay, can't remember the video you made, but I made a comment that states at war against DEI. I asked if you thought it would hurt recruiting at colleges like Texas and Florida. Um, yeah, I don't think that impacts recruiting at all. I think what people need to understand is there are entire institutions dedicated towards equality and black history and no one goes to those schools they don't give a shit about their curriculum that the fact that certain schools teach um different ideologies and different philosophies doesn't matter at all students student athletes you know what talks like i've been talking to players you know what they care about money they care about money they care about playing time how good your football team is what your academic programs are and what you offer and all that shit does not matter to these kids. These kids are not consulting the NCAA, um, NCAA or the NAACP. They're not doing any of that shit. Like not, not, all that is just posturing political nonsense that doesn't really resonate with a high school age kid at all. So when people start doing this, it's fear mongering. It's just people saying, oh, this is going to impact this, this. No, it is not at all. There are some of the most ridiculous things in, in curriculum being done at Liberty or Navy or Notre Dame. There's the honor code at BYU. There's all kinds of things that hinder these kids socially. And no one gives a shit. They're looking for a scholarship and they want to go to those schools. Sign me up. What do I got to do? I got to follow some honor code. I'm here. So <clears throat> just because there's some change in curriculum and you think some type of political or social network of people are going to influence these kids it's not going to happen kids give a shit about that they want to talk about position coaches depth charts playing time nfl pedigree that matters there's very few kids talking academics and the ones who are talking academics they're going to stanford vanderbilt you know like they don't care they're just going over there so that, that stuff doesn't really impact football at all and when you start talking about the major universities like texas and florida Zero, bro. Zero. It, it doesn't matter. Ole Miss basketball just hired a coach that bit his wife in a domestic violence assault case, and none of the players care. Nobody cares. That, oh, he's, he's, a, he's a womanizer, and he's a wife beater, and all this. Stuff. They don't care, dude. Sign me up. Where can I sign up? Hugh Freeze is getting prostitutes with government travel card with with company credit cards. No one cares. Yeah, the, change the curriculum all you want. No one's going to give a shit when it's time to choose a school where you want to go play. Zero. Zero impact. On a scale from 1 to 10, zero. On a scale from 1 to, to 100, zero. Doesn't matter. I talk to these kids, man. I, I know what their priorities are. 
And anybody out there saying, well, their parents are, are doing this. Yeah. You hear, um, oh, this game's over, man. You hear a lot of these guys being like pro HBCU, pro uh, anything. But then you find out they send their kids to the SEC. Right? Like I can see Fred Taylor on the pivot saying, yeah, man, we need to send our kids to, to HBCUs and change the narrative and let them know about the history of the school and all this shit. And then you go check and you're like, well, where did Fred Taylor's son go to school? Uh, Florida. His alma mater. <clears throat> so they just sit there and talk this shit on TV and on their podcast. And it doesn't really, they don't do it. Like Emmett Smith just said, we really got to be concerned about DEI and all this shit. Well, where'd your son go? Where'd your son go? Went to Stanford, bro. <clears throat> You're going to send your kid to the best academic institution out there. It, you don't care. There's a lot of historically black colleges out there that could be using all these star-powered names, all these legacy names. <clears throat> and the coach, they, these parents don't send them there. But they'll go, to, they'll go on TV and tell you, you should send your kid there. Bro, take care of the ball like it matters. Stop letting that guy dribble. Make it happen. You got him. CJ Fulton's not him. What a pass. What a pass. That was to Smith for Baker. Come on, baby. Thank you, babe. The dinner was banging. Dinner has a lot in common with you. It was banging. You be banging, girl. You're the cutest. Thank you. I'm serious, on a scale from one to cute, you're cute. Thank you very much, Mr. There's nobody on your level. It's just, it was like, man, where's that cornbread at? Oh, there's no cornbread. What? I said there is cornbread. I know there is. You're always dipping me in my cornbread. You want that cornbread? You want that cornbread? Foul! Foul! No problem. Appreciate you reaching out and double backing on the question. Um, means a lot to me. I like it. I like when you guys stick with it. Stick with it. Tipped it in. Come on, go on a run. Don't let that curly haired dude get it. Good D. Over the back, bro. I gotta do two high school film reviews. What a stud. That was a good steal. His kid can play, the one with the ball right now, he's very good. Nah. Trap, no. Trap. My girl finally ate. She's drinking and eating her food. She's so weird. She'll eat, walk around in a circle, come back. She's not sure she got the all clear. She's drinking some water. Walk around in a circle, come back. All right, y'all, I got to take a break. 
Apologize. I'll be back.